Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be reviewing uh, my beautiful Silverado 2021. I'm gonna go through some of the likes and dislikes about it. Uh, I got about 10,000 miles on it. It's a V6 Custom, a crew cab short bed, and um, did a lot of towing with it. I was quite impressed, but let me go through some of the this features. truck, I actually got um, a set of used running boards. These are like at least 700 new at the dealer. I got another video on how I installed them, but um, real easy to install. There's about six bolts on each side, and they look great, and you kind of need running boards for trucks nowadays. They're so high up, but I did that. Um, I got this uh, tonneau cover, it's totally badass. It's a uh, hard roll, so if you look underneath, it's got the steel and it just rolls up. It's kind of like impenetrable, you're not going to be able to break into it. And then, you'll excuse the mess, but I have this, uh, it's kind of a cheap, cheap, but it's really thick uh, bed cover. It does really good with, um, you know stopping things from sliding so it's not just to prevent dents it stops it from sliding easy to wash other things on the exterior i got the uh, 20 inch all terrains they're the uh, wranglers but i think they give the truck kind of like a more edgy look i mean it's this is not a trail boss or anything but it still still looks kind of tough i mean it's got the it's got the pretty sweet wheels but um yeah this is shadow gray metallic i really like this color it, like this, this truck is a lot dirtier than it looks, but um, really nice. A couple other features uh, Chevy did was they put this um, this uh, matting on. I think it's a film. It's actually a film. And you don't see any, uh, it'll stop stone impingement basically, so you won't get all those uh, dents and stuff or chips. So that worked out really well. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine, but when you get black, um, it gets dirty so fast. And then if you look at these seats, these, these are not that old, but they've got this like white residue kind of on it. It looks, uh, and that was almost like the day I bought it. So it looks kind of old. So that's kind of annoying. And then the other annoying thing, this seven inch screen is ridiculously small for a free, for a truck. But beyond, you get used to it quick, but still. And then I got the uh, brake controller that works awesome. And then another cool thing is this is a six seater. The, uh, that middle seat folds down. So it's pretty cool. And then the storage compartment, it's moderate, it's not huge. So it's not bad. And then um, I'm gonna walk around to the other side. So another one of my pet peeves is this, uh, this looks awesome, the glove box, right? You look like, wow, I got a lot of room. Then you open it up and you're like, what the? You can, you can barely fit anything in there. It's just ridiculous. And then the other glove box is, you know, it's standard size. Then you got this little, uh, cubby up here too which is actually pretty nice um, this is the custom so you notice it's missing uh, anything here but what's funny is you can still get all the function of it just by using that switch in there that little dial so it's kind of like chintzy you know it's getting a little cheap with the uh, options for a customer the other thing I got is the uh, the rubber mats these things are really actually pretty cool they keep the car super clean and then in the back real quick, huge back. I don't know if you don't know a Silverado there, you can put them up and you got tons of room. And the other thing is it's pretty cavernous. If you look, I mean, if you have kids, which I do, I put back here, tons of room, they love it. So that's some of the likes and dislikes about the vehicle. Um, oh, one more thing is I, it only has one USB charging port, which is freaking ridiculous. So there's nothing back here and there's only one up in front. There's a 